What's going on, y'all? It's our Pod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. Today I'm about to do another pack opening. Yes, broke nigga pack opening. But uh, before we get into this video, a couple of you guys may have seen my last Game Face Studios video, which was a actual game from Road to the Playoffs. It was the first game of the fifth seed. Now, I've won my second um, game in the fifth seed, but yeah. I've only played one game since that time. It's been very hectic with the newborn. Um, we spent like four days in the hospital. It was unreal. But uh, let's get into this pack opening, man. Um, I've seemed to lost my controller. Oh, let me go get it. Okay, we back. Um, <laughs> all right, so uh, I put out on Twitter and Facebook and ask guys um, and girls that they want me to do gold or silver. And uh, everybody said do gold. So I'm going to knock out some gold pack openings real quick. So uh, let's start it off. I'm about to spend this 1500 BC. It's going to be all right, though. But, uh, you know, on, a, on another note, I am very, very intrigued by what the 76ers are doing currently yes i want to talk about a little bit of basketball um they traded away drew holiday on draft night um the trade has not been announced um that it went through yet but all the sources confirm that this trade will be going down because they have to free up certain cap space and get people off the books so you know that is what it is but uh, after Michael Carter Williams was acquired, they got um, Kazemi, and now they're in the summer league. Now they haven't won one game in the summer league. The first game, Michael Carter Williams went off. Yeah, he went off twenty plus points, great assists, um, great rebounds, but he had nine turnovers. Ever since that game. He really hasn't been doing much. In the pre in the last game that they've played, they played against Orlando. He got torched. They literally did not want him to stick the uh guard from Orlando at all. So they kept putting people on switches. I was like, oh man. You know, and uh I think he shot probably about three for ten. You know what I'm saying? He had like eleven points, but that was only because, you know, free throws and, you know, a couple lucky shots here and there, but this dude is going to need a lot of work. You know, the way I see it, he it's going to take him a while to catch up to Drew. Drew had a pure jump shot. He had great dribbling, great instincts. So it's going to, it's going to take Michael Carter Williams a lot. And and this is the funny thing. A lot of people was like, did I just get World Be Free? But um, a lot of people was like, man, Michael Carter Williams is going to be better than Drew in a couple years. Yeah, I did get World Be Free. All right, hold up. I might have to check that out. But um, people were like, yeah, he's going to be great. You know, he's 6'5", going on 6'6". Six, six. He's still growing. He's still young. Okay, this is the thing. Drew is 6'4". He's 6'4". Like, come on, let's keep it all the way real. My man is 6'4". Let's, come on, y'all. Like, I just, sometimes I can't understand. Like, a lot of people are like, man, he got length. You know what I'm saying? He can get to the rim whenever he want. Drew was already doing that. Like, that that was cool. Drew was already doing that. Oh, I got Derrick Rose. Oh, my God. I got Derrick Rose out of a pack opening? What? Stop it, Five. Stop it. Five. All right, I got D Rose. So, uh, that starting position for the point guard is going to get very scarce. I got World Be Free, Terry Porter, and D Rose. I might put D Rose as starting shooting guard, for real, for real. But, um, yeah, back to the Sixers talk, man. So, now the thing is, they've gave up Darrell Wright because he was a free agent. Swaggy P, Nick Young. I got Phil Jackson. Swaggy P, that is Nick Young. If a couple of you guys don't know who that is. Um, they gave up Andrew Bynum. He was a free agent as well. Shipped him off to Cleveland. And um, who did they also give up? Um, what's his name? Oh, my goodness. It's, uh, it's right there. It's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, I'll, I'll get it later. But basically, they're giving up their entire team to, you know, rebuild. Now... A lot of us, on, Dwight, I got Dwight Howard in a pack opening. Yo, stop it. Yo, today's my lucky day, B. 
Like, yo, that is crazy. I got D Howard. But, um, yeah, back to what I was talking about. Uh, <laughs> the starting five that I suggest, because a lot of guys from uh, Game Face Studios, we were in a comment section on Skype talking to each other about, you know, who's going to be in the starting five, who's going to do good, who's not. Now, this is what I see in the starting five. You got Michael Carter Williams, right? Now, I'm not totally sure if Jason Richardson is full, like, f like healthy all the way. I don't know how that knee is. But he could possibly be the starting shooting guard. And it would be Evan Turner at the small forward. And most likely it would be Thaddeus Young at the power forward. And then it would be Noel at the center. Now, this is the thing. With all these injuries that they currently have, like, yeah, they're still an injury-prone team. Like, this is not, you know, this is not finished. You know, Noel is out and Jason Richardson is still, you know, rehabbing and healing. So the starting five that's going to start probably on a home opener will most likely be Michael Carter-Williams, Evan Turner, Thaddeus Young at the three, probably Lavoy Allen or Arnett Moultrie at the four, and Spencer Halls at the five. That's what I'm thinking right there. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm, I know I'm selling back a whole bunch of stuff, too. Um, but, yeah, the, the way I see it, it's going to be... It's going to be a long season, man. A very long season. And uh, I just feel like I'm going to get the season tickets because I know they're going to be dirt cheap. You know, and the way that these this new GM and his team is thinking, they're talking about bringing you a, a totally better experience for the games. I don't know how you're going to have a great experience if we're not winning games. Now, I'm going to sit here and put my foot in my mouth if we can get at least 25 to 35 wins, I'll be ecstatic. But the way I feel about this season, yes, in 82 games, I think we might might get like 20. Now, I don't think that we're going to have a horrible season like the Bobcats had one year. But, you know, anything can happen. With the way things are going currently, it's, it's looking real ugly for us. But, yeah, man, as it goes for being a Sixers fan, it's just it's just that year where you put your head down and you say, all right, I'll pick it up next season. Because, oh, man, it's just it's just so sad. But um, it's been a lot of um, blockbuster deals that went down. You know, um, all the controversy behind the Lakers and Dwight Howard. Yo, for Kobe to say, like, to, yo, like, they literally had him say that he unfollowed them. And uh, the White Howard was saying that the reason he left L.A. was because Kobe was saying that he wasn't ready to, you know, retire or he wasn't done. So, you know, the White Howard, I guess, couldn't wait. But the funny thing about that is if you're going to be a cornerstone franchise player for a team, what happens when you go to Houston? What is it? More of a side by side type of thing? Because James Harden is not a slouch himself. You feel me? Even though, you know, he got the starting position this year definitely doesn't mean that this dude is a slouch. So I don't know what Dwight Howard was saying. Like, who would you rather be by? Kobe, who's won chips, or Harden, who's an up-and-coming guy? But, you know, it is what it is. To me, I feel like Dwight Howard is going to be playing for, like, almost every team in the league by the time he's done. Like, real rap. I don't know. I don't know what's on his mind. But uh, I thought I got a – yeah, I got uh, Walt Bellamy. Um, Who else I got? I could have swore I got some other people. I don't know. I, I, I might have been. I might have been high. I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what's going on in my booster packs. But uh, a lot of people told me that the lower seeds that you go, the better players you might get. Okay, Nate McMillan. But um, yeah, man, it's it's a lot going on. But um, I will say this: you guys definitely want to check out NBA Summer League because my whole thing about this draft was a lot of people said there wasn't a lot of block buster people and you know stuff like that i still want to see who some of the future stars in the nba are going to be you know i um who did i watch he was busting behind i think it was uh jackson for the thunder he had like 35 one night and then jeremy lamb played the next game and got like 30 so i was like yo these two right here are gonna be like when kd and westbrook go to the bench like and, and and this is the funny thing. Jackson, he can even start at point guard and put Westbrook and move him to the two. 
Like, you know what I'm saying? On some, on some ish. So I don't know. You know, the way I feel about that, the, the, the Thunder going to be crazy. That's, a, that's all I can say. But, yeah, man, it's a lot of teams that definitely benefited from free agency that want to win now. That's, the, that's, the, that's like a big factor in the NBA. Teams want to win now. They don't want to wait. Like, the Sixers, they're going to try to build in next year's draft. And then maybe three, four, maybe five years down the line, they want to have a championship contender team. I want a championship contender team now. Instead of, you know, saying uh, we're going to trade away Drew Holiday, why didn't you get him some key people, superstars, you know, of this draft to, I mean, not draft, but of this free agency this year to, you know, load them up. You know what I'm saying? I would, I would love to see KG and Paul Pierce with, the, you know what I'm saying, with my boy. Hey, if we can get one ring and rebuild after that, because you got to think about it like this. When you get a championship, you bring it home. Man, publicity, money, everything's get you know rolled into your to your city. So I would have loved to win a ring. You know, if you put anybody on my Sixers team that knows what it feels like to win the NBA championship, that's who you want there. Even if they're veterans after 13, 14 seasons, it doesn't matter. They know what it's like. they're gonna instill that in the players that's playing today. But uh, this gold pack is taking forever to load up. <laughs> um, I got a Christmas bull jersey that didn't show up. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go check and see what that looks like. But yeah, man, it's, it's crazy. Uh, let's see if I can sell this back. All right, sold this back for 230 This right here will be my last pack. Um, let me just show you my collection real quick. Let's go real slow for y'all. Um, Wesley Johnson, he was my backup point, but now that I have three gold point guards, I don't know what I'm going to do. But, um, the funny thing is, a lot of people always say, um, players, items. Um, I just want to show you guys my, um, but yeah, man, um, it's just with me, I just feel like the Sixers should have won. A lot of people don't like what Sam Hinky is doing, and it's stirring up a lot of problems. You know what I'm saying? Even at the, uh, the games for the Summer League, you know, the guys that speak at NBA TV and stuff like that, <laughs> they not talking, you know, very well about what's going on. But uh, these right here are my jersey. I get to throw on something fresh whenever I want. Uh, I think I just seen like the, the Nuggets official. I think it was the alternate. But uh, let me get into this last pack so I can get up out of here. I wonder if y'all can hear Deja breathing in the background. Wait a I'll take her. <laughs> Lightly at all. She'll start crying and it'll be over. I'm gonna talk to her up. Alright, Celtics playbook, which I already have. Lock down the fan. Who's the put? It's down artist. I probably won't use it. Everybody can't be LeBron. But uh, check this out. Five. Oh, this is. Now, now I can't even open a pack. Matter of fact, can I open a pack? What's the cheapest pack? Bronze? Alright, let me see if I can sell somebody back real quick. Matter of fact, I might open up a... Mike Woodson. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not going to use that. Eric Spolstra. I like you. And since I play um, on the heat floor most of the time. Doug Collins. Got to keep Doug Collins. When I get a um, 76ers home court, I'm definitely, definitely.
item. <laughs> Playbooks, right? Yeah, Bucks Playbook, I'm never. Now this right here is just me trying to uh, market. I'm gonna get uniforms only, but consider a bronze pack. I gotta buy VC. Oh, six hundred. You know what? I might use the Bulls playbook just to just to get a feel for it. Because you know, if they run a lot, cause I, cause me myself, you know, having iPod King Carter as a my player, I do run a lot of plays, you know, through the point. Like Terry Porter can go off at any time, and then I run a lot of plays through the small forward position. Green. The Bulls. Uh, so uh, let's see. Um, market. Boosters. Yeah, I know a lot of people are probably like, why are you buying a uniforms uh, pack? Because I am that guy who wanted my team for one reason. That was to collect jerseys. It'd be dope to have every jersey. Um, it looks like I didn't get any doubles out of that pack, so I came out a winner. On it. But um, this is our KC signing out. I want to thank you guys for watching this pack opening, and um, I hope you liked what I was talking about, you know, with the whole free agency and stuff like that. But I am about to feed her. Yes, it's like, I don't even know. What it it's probably like 2 in the morning. Oh, no, it's 3.30 in the morning. But um, I'm going to holler at you on the next one. Peace. Yerp, this is Siri. Thank you for watching, and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.